Oh, shooting. <laughs> hey everyone, how's it going? Hello. It's time for Sunday updates. I'm not even sure if I'm in the, in the frame, but that's. We now have a fan and a salt paper uh, shaker holding the phone. So, again, you can expect an unedited video and then hopefully not too much from any interruption from the nurses and the hospital staff while we're shooting. Um, we are now in a private room, which is really good because I've been here so long now. There's a private room that liberated itself and then, luckily enough, well, it became mine. Yeah, I mean, just from a, how do you say, it, like an onlooking perspective, it's not nice when you have, like, you, you were on your fifth or sixth room neighbor. Yes. It gets on your patients and then it's like, it feels, you know, feels a bit, I don't know. Cruel to see them going home while yeah. still stay here. Yeah, I think you went to six, five or six people for sure on that room. Yes. Said it a lot, I think. Yes. More of this not high when you see people. It's nice for people to go home, but it's like, why am I not going home? Exactly. Well, we can't know why I'm not going home because well, I spoke to the oncologist, my oncologist, uh, this weekend. We know the stage of the cancer and then we know my, my odds of survival. And none of those are good, but somehow I managed to stay happy and positive. And I think that's a bit what we're going to be talking about in this video. And then I've also undergone some uh, more like um, non-traditional healing uh, treatment this week. And then we're going to be talking about that as well. In this video. That's the plan. I'm still on morphine, so you can still expect some brain fog. <laughs> so, but let's see how it goes. And then we still have no means to edit. Um, we're just like, yeah, shooting and doing your absolute best to keep everyone updated. And then we appreciate everyone who watches us. So, thank you so much. And if you're new to our channel, warm welcome. Usually we're homesteaders, but now we're. <laughs> Cancer fighters, <laughs> cancer warriors. Yeah, it's a uh, bit different. Mm. So the stage of the cancer, let's get down to it. Um, so I have, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm stage four. Uh, stage four adrenocarcinoma. My chances of survival past five years are at 20%. So we got the news on Monday and then pretty much the whole Monday was spent crying and just telling the family and then telling the close friends and 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 everyone and then it was it was a really 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 hard day and then after that luckily I'm um, I accept all the help I I can at the hospital so that means that I'm followed by psychotherapists and more advanced <laughs> people in the, in the mental health facility and they they're really 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 excellent in portugal and then um yeah uh, andrea one of my doctors asked me she's like yeah but cindy like what does it mean 20 percent chance of survival rate for you now that you know it and then i burst it out in tears and then i said it just means that it's a harder fight than what i had hoped for and then I started thinking a lot about this 20%. It, it haunted me. And then, thankfully, my dear friend Louise, some of you guys know her, um, solo expat Portugal, uh, Louise from the UK, Jamaica. No, not Jamaica. What am I saying, Jamaica? Brain farts. Anyway, <laughs> Louise. Then I'm thinking Laura in the UK from Jamaica. No. Louise, YouTuber Louise, um, she had like the best comment to me. She's like, "If yeah, I Cindy, like you're already in the 20%. Who goes and buy, like, build their own house and everything like that? Like you're a warrior." And all of you guys who have encouraged me, that really, really helped me this week. Both of us, actually. Huh? Yeah. So we decided that you are 100% among the 20%. Yes, I'm the 100% of the 20%. That means that the statistic, okay, so you guys know that in my previous life, or you saw me might not, but I was in marketing, and then statistic is a thing that I absolutely adore. And then if someone was to present me with 
this data, I say drill down further, because the 20%, who is it? It's everyone. So how many of those are 47 years old? How many of those have got the will to fight like I do? How many of those, like, no. How many of those have built their own house, have renovated the house? How many of those are how many of those? So what we decided was that I was 100% of the 20%. That means that my chances of survival are pretty, pretty high. 120%. 120%. This is what we decided. So, I mean, yeah. Because really, like the 20%, and the stats are bold, like we don't really know, like is it from this year, is it from when, like, is it pre-COVID or past COVID? Because COVID, like, it really helped the cancer research a lot, so. It's hard to get uh, new data on these things. It's uh, all the information we get online, at least, is fairly old. Yeah, so, so yeah, so the 20% we decided not to worry so much about that. So, and then we decided that life was gonna be happy. And then even if like, but let's say that the 20% is a, a super narrow down statistic that doesn't include the 92 years old poor woman who have lost their husband years ago and who end up having a renal carcinoma and were kind of waiting by the day just to go and meet up with their, the love of their life in heaven, then well, my love is here. I want to stay with him. I want to fight. Those 92 years old women might not have the same wheel of fighting like I do. So this is what we decided. So we don't really care about the 20% odds. Like, <laughs> not at all. Not at all. It's a, it's a statistic worth laughing about. So, so what I'm going to answer my doctor next time is like, so what does that 20% mean to you, Cindy? What is it, those chances of survival? What does it mean to you? Well, it means nothing. It means that it's just the data. And then, yeah, the fight is, the fight is rough, but the fight, I mean, the fight, the, the harder the fight, the, the more fun the victory, right? <laughs> so that's where we stand. Oh, that was a lot of laughing. <laughs> okay, alternative treatments. Oh my God. All right, so I'm still not eligible to chemotherapy. Still not eligible to chemotherapy. I'm fighting an infection, and then let's keep on coming back and forward, back and forward. So. And until that infection is sorted, and until I can walk, and I'm just in better physical shape, I'm not able to get chemotherapy. So that means that we have to start doing stuff on our own, and we have. Yeah. So what do I do? Well, every night I listen to healing music, sonic healing music. So if there's, uh, if you guys are interested in seeing like the, the stuff that I listen or the um, other references that we may have, just head out to Facebook. We are, Facebook group is uh, Simple Life Portugal and I'm really active on there and I can share more links and stuff like that with you. So. But that's that. So I'm. So every night I fall asleep with some sound music thingy meditation stuff that kind of hopefully helps me reduce the sizes of the masses. Because one of the reasons why I can't just go and get a hysterectomy right now is because the masses are too big and not operable. So that's that. One of many things. One of many things. So I'm not operable and I'm not allowed to get chemotherapy. It's a lot of We have also started uh, buying some CBD oil because we, I mean, like everyone, we hear the benefit of, of CBD and cancer. And one of the thing about the adrenal carcinoma, the type of cancer that I have, it's not super responsive to chemotherapy. However, uh, early research have shown that it's CBD is especially good for adrenal carcinoma. 
thought about it then and see that found the information. Well, as, as you said, the internet is full of information. It's just that it's hard to find the right information and reliable information. But this, you keep on searching and searching, a lot of this information comes out that CBD is good for attacking the the blood supply for the tumors. I think it was like it hinders the tumors from growing more uh, blood supply. Yeah. Early stage it shows. So and if we take every early stage we can of research as long as it comes from a reputable like guess organization. Yeah. And it seems like C B D is uh, it's working fairly good for as long as it's research in mice and, and stuff like that, it's very good to prove that. It's showing promising sign. Yeah. So in terms of the quantity, is it which one did you buy me? Thirty percent C B D. 30% CBD, and then I do three drops in the morning and then three drops in the evening underneath the tongue, and let's see if it works. Yeah. Well, since we started, I don't know where we, I mean, you get rapid type back since we started, we started to drain a bit more, but then we get CBD and it feels like eating a bit, a bit better at least. And I'm keeping the food down and I'm keeping the water down. Yeah. This week has been a really good week of eating, so that's all. Very, very positive sign. And your nausea is a little bit better, I think? Oh, so much better. So yeah. much better. Yeah. The bloating yeah. is at uh, almost a, an all time high today because I'm having problems with one of my drain. It needs to be repositioned. But because I've had five drains put before, some of the holes where I used to have drain are draining. Leaking, kind of Leaking, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, another problem I had this week, it looks worse than it is, but I had a problem with a catheter. I don't know if you guys will see it. Uh, but yeah, if you see a bruise while I'm talking and my hands are moving. <coughs> oh, yes, you. Um, it's, uh, it's not painful at all, it's just a problem with a catheter that happens, apparently. You've been stung so many times now, it's hard to find the veins as well. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were, oh, we were talking about alternative treatment. The mm -hmm. other thing I have, which I'm so excited about, oh my God, I'm so excited about this. I've had a hypnosis therapy. Hypnosis, hypnosis. Hypnotherapy. Hypnotherapy. Hypnosis therapy. Not really sure. Not Please let us know in the comments. <laughs> uh, that was so interesting. It was a 50 minute session which I absolutely adore. Uh, the session was divided, I think, in like four phases. First, the relaxation. Second, identifying, traveling down to my pelvic area where the cancer is. And then identifying some healthy cells and then targeting the masses with some healthy cells to convert the bad, the bad cells into healthy ones. And then, then I saw something really amazing, like huge clouds of nebula come to our facebook group i'm going to share the image there they're really worth it um and then the other phases of the, med uh, the meditation were focused not the, of the meditation but the, of the session sorry were focused on sending me home getting me to walk again and then programming me to have a very deep sleep that night which indeed i have the and I needed it, so yeah, we're still in the shop. Yeah, I'm just checking so the camera is rolling, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's held between a fan and a salt, uh, salt shaker. So, so that's pretty much all the latest news that we have. My, my legs are getting better. Uh, some of you guys had questions like why and some of you guys didn't realize that I was bedbound either. So why am I bedbound? It's because one of the um, the side effect of my cancer is that I'm I'm blowing up basically, like like I'm like the Michelin man. Yeah, you're getting water retention everywhere, I and mostly in your legs and feet. And at and one point, in uh, the legs were so so big you couldn't even uh, move them. Mm -hmm. Or bend them. You couldn't even bend them. But now I'm gaining some mobility. We've shared some shorts with you guys this week. Thank you so much for everyone who's cheered the song with those. Like, this is so amazing. Like, you don't understand people cheering small milestones and 
small, but what, what could be seen as very small achievements, but they're big for us. And thank you for you guys to, who realizes that this rehabilitation will take time and that every little bit of milestone, every achievement needs to be celebrated like huge victories. This, yeah. this is helping me so much mentally, guys. Like, I mean, it's so much from you. So thank you so much for being there. Especially after all the like string of negativity we got from information and uh, the results 20%. of the biopsies and stuff like that. It's been a bit negative downpour lately, so it's, yes. it's nice to see the progress of just that you've been able to move your feet and do some bicycling and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really nice to see. Alright, it's amazing. Oh, did I forget something? So we covered alternative treatment, we covered the stage of the cancer, and we know why we're staying positive, and then that's that. And you also got a new project going? Ah, uh, yeah, but let's keep this one for later. Next week, maybe. Well, maybe we'll talk about it next week. <laughs> Ways to keep my mind busy, because, oh god. Let's talk about that later. Yeah. Another time. Next time. Next time. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching, and... Thank you for to everyone who's bought us copies, who sent us money for our GoFundMe. It's really helping, especially now that we're buying CBD oil. It's quite expensive, so we really appreciate every bit of help that we're getting. And then uh, you guys are the best. You rock. And then keep on cheering us on. We need your help. We need your positivity. We need your good juju. And thank you, everyone who's praying really hard for us. And and for all the positivity we're getting from this community, right? Yeah, the good energy needs to flow. It's, uh, it's the focus that needs to be a good energy, I think. Yeah, good energy. Oh, speaking of good energy, just have to say this. B from uh, the Indie Project. I just want to say, like, best of luck to you. I heard that you're getting a hysterectomy, so please, best of luck to you for your operation. Like. My heart goes out to you and I really hope that everything goes well and uh, know that as a sister who's having problems with my uterus, I got your back girl, so you can do this, you can do this B. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay. That's all we have to say. Thanks so much guys, have a good week. See you. See you next week. Bye bye. Ciao, ciao now.